welcome to a new segment that I'm going to call WWDD, What Would Have Dash Done? I can't help but sit on my couch watching Survivor episode after episode and seeing these moves that I would have done a little bit differently, a little bit differently. Ah, I would have done something a little different. What if he did this? So, I'm going to explain what Dash would have done. So, in this most recent episode, I'm coming off of episode 4. This happened just this last week. We saw a really interesting tribal. Classic situation. 5 verse 4 from the original tribes sent to tribal. What's going to happen? This happens every single season, and it's always interesting to see how the majority sometimes may crumble, or how the majority holds on to it, and slowly will vote out the minority of the tribe members. In this case, we had five Navidi, four Malolo. And in this situation, there's only two questions to ask. The first question is, is the majority strong, and are they going to stick together through the vote? And in this case, yes. The majority was strong. As we saw, Bradley was doing a good job of keeping tabs on his people to make sure that no one was reaching in, reaching out, that he had good tabs on his five people. So the next question and the last question in this situation is, all right, well, does anybody on the minority have a hidden immunity idol? In this case, yes. Michael had found the Survivor China, one of James' famous medals. He went home with two in his pocket. And he did a great job of coming up with a bluff of saying that this idol that he had because of James walking home with two, this idol has dual immunity. It has double the power. It's an awesome bluff that Michael came up with. Kudos for that. But what he proceeded to do at the tribal, we have five verse four. He proceeded to basically say, we have this. It's going to give two of us immunity. And we are all going to vote Bradley. Basically tried to convince Sebastian and Chelsea to flip, saying you're at the bottom of your alliance, we welcome you into our alliance, we're voting Bradley, so why don't you flip with us? Now, that's all well and good. They did it well. I mean, they, they made their case. It was a strong case, but ultimately, in the end, Bradley and the majority stuck with their plan, and they voted out one of the Malolo. So... This is what I would have done because they had a lot of power and they had a lot more opportunity that they didn't seize that I would have. In that case, I would have made the same bluff, the double immunity. That's awesome. And I would have said, we are going to use this tonight, no matter what, and two of us are going to be safe. You don't know who we're going to use it for, but basically it's a 50-50 chance that you're wrong. Now what we are going to do, we're going to send all four of our votes to either Chelsea, or Sebastian. Before I continue, one of the biggest motivating factors that I've seen in Survivor, very, very rarely do you see a Survivor who's okay leaving their Survivor career up to chance. Sometimes there are, sometimes they say, you know what, YOLO, let's draw rocks. But very rarely do I see that. Most people want to make certain, and they will do whatever it takes. If it means flipping, if it means blindsiding, if it means leaving the alliance, they'll do whatever it takes to try and, to try and minimize the risk that they are going to go home. So, with that in mind, I would say, Sebastian and Chelsea, we are going to vote for one of the two of you. So basically, do you want to leave it up to odds and say 50-50 that you go home and you stick with your plan with your majority five? Or do you want to flip with us and vote the other person? Sebastian, do you want to flip with us and the five of us will vote out Chelsea and then there's no chance that you go home? Or Chelsea, do you want to flip with us and we'll vote out Sebastian? Because basically, you either have a 50% chance of going home or you flip. Now that's what I would have done. That puts a lot more pressure and forces their hand because ultimately what Michael did, even though he made a great bluff with the double immunity, the four people on the majority that weren't Bradley weren't at risk. So why would they flip? They would stick to their plan. They would stick to the five because they weren't at risk. They said, we're voting for Bradley. Will you please flip? No, no, no. You need to put the pressure on the people who need to flip. Because Bradley isn't going to flip because he's being voted for. And so he was the only one that was under the gun of the odds of immunity. So basically what I would have done is I would have put the pressure of the odds of immunity on those who I wanted to flip. I would say, hey, you're going to go home if you don't correctly guess who doesn't have immunity. So it's a 50-50 chance, Sebastian. It's a 50-50 chance, Chelsea. Or you can flip and it's a 100% chance you're safe and you turn our minority with your vote into the majority and you're safe. That's what I would have done and I think Malolo could have come out on top 
Sebastian and Chelsea, under that kind of pressure, would have flipped. Because I know I would have flipped. If I was in a situation where I thought I was safe, but then the people I was voting against said, it's a 50-50 you guess wrong, and that we're okay, and that our votes vote you out, you can escape that by flipping. I would absolutely flip. I would never leave my survivor career up to odds, especially a coin toss, 50-50, with that amazing bluff about Survivor China. So that's what I would have done. They didn't quite do it. The pressure wasn't there. The four people that were on the majority, aside from Bradley, they didn't have a reason to flip. Other than your persuasive efforts, they had no reason to flip. The only, the only reason they might have is if they didn't like Bradley, or if they really believed they were at the bottom of an alliance. But they knew that the uncertainty of going to this new alliance was not nearly as beneficial as sticking to the five they already had, with a plan they already had established, so that's why they didn't flip. There wasn't enough pressure, and they didn't leverage that bluff of the 50-50 immunity, the two people being safe of the four, they didn't leverage it well enough. So I would have leveraged it by forcing somebody's hand by saying, you are putting your life on the line unless you flip. So, thanks, that's WWDD from episode four. So long, Brendan, sorry. <laughs>